There's no political consequences for saying that, though. That's part no. of the problem. You, you, can, you can say that, and there's zero political consequences. But if you do talk about the Palestinian people and their rights and the plight of the Palestinians, yeah. then you are connected to Hamas. And yeah. then all of a sudden you're connected to you, this is a terrorist organization, and there, it doesn't matter about those people. Yeah, it's a, the, the narrative is support of Israel equals you're on the right side. Yeah. Yeah, the, regardless of how their policies impact individual human beings through no fault of their own, just happen to be born Palestinian and been stuck in this apartheid state. Yep. And the, the other thing is that they, you know, th it's, it's very binary in that way. It's like you're either with Israel or you're with Hamas. Yep. You're, you're with this terrorist organization that puts its people in danger purposely and uses them as cannon fodder. So that they can gain support internationally and and does all these human rights atrocities and launches missiles at Israel. Well, yeah, I know. I I I hear all of this just the same as you do. But they're just human beings. Well, well, well they're also the democratically elected government of Gaza, Hamas. Okay, and there is an armed wing, and whatever. But if you actually read international law at all, or the Geneva Conventions. And occupied people have an absolute legal and moral r right to resist the occupation. And this, this is a fact that is not bandied about when they talk about um, firing rockets into Israel, which almost never do any damage because they're very ineffectual. But it, yeah. it's and, and then another thing that is a great worry to the Palestinian community is that the Israelis seem now to have a policy of pushing them, murdering so many of them that they are absolutely trying to create another intifada so they can make it an armed conflict where they're a thousand times, 10,000 times more powerful than the Palestinian people who are, they are hoping will arm themselves and the young people gather together in bands and try and have an insurrection, an armed intercept, so they can just kill them all. When you say that Hamas is the democratically elected leaders of Palestine, how corrupt... I didn't say of Palestine, I said of excuse, Gaza. Excuse me, of Gaza. Yeah. Uh, how corrupt is that election? I have no idea. I wasn't there, but it, but it was in 2011, I think, right. was the... Uh, has there been an election since then? I don't know how you would organize anything in Gaza, which is a prison. Right. It's got borders. The Israelis control who comes in and goes out. They open fire on, on Palestinian fishing boats again yesterday. So I, I can't really answer that question because I'm not there and, and I don't know. Does anybody have a clear path of resolution that makes sense for that area where they could sit down and come up with some sort of humane, logical, compassionate way to mitigate some of these problems? Does anyone? Yeah, I do. What is your You do. You, you give equal human rights to people, and but you would have to stop the occupation and stop one group of people oppressing another group of people. You would have to accept the principles of Paris 1948, and everything would develop from that. Then you could have a process. You could all get on a plane and go to Oslo and have meetings. They did that once before, but nobody stood by anything that was agreed in Oslo. It was just a delaying process to consolidate the occupation of Palestine, i.e. the settlement building, the private roads, all of that stuff. But, yeah, but you, you would need the will you would need the will of the Israeli government and then it could move forward. 